Rallying around a brother in blue, sidelined by an incurable lung disease, a Deland police officer known for helping others is now on the receiving end. After a life-saving surgery this week, his community is now helping him through his long road to recovery. News 6's Troy Campbell explains how they are getting results. After a successful double lung transplant this week, co-workers of Officer Proko's at the Deland Police Department and the community as a whole, they're here tonight to help him with his medical expenses, something they say is a testament of their loyalty. Really interesting guy, fantastic officer, fantastic person in the community, and we're here to support him because unfortunately he had a uh, rare lung disease. The city of Deland's police chief, Bill Ridgway, describing Officer Constantine Dino Proko's, a six-year veteran of the department, diagnosed with an aggressive form of lung disease in March, a condition that required a double lung transplant. Without it, he was only expected to live another year. His fellow officers showing up to Sonny's Barbecue in DeLand, where 20% of all profits tonight go towards Proko's medical fund. Thankfully, a surgery this week appears to have been a success. Everything's going smoothly. He's in recovery right now, and, you know, the the scary part is over. Now it's being there for him and helping him get through the the long process afterwards. His GoFundMe account has already raised more than $20,000, but the police department says Proko's medical expenses are expected to far exceed that amount, having to spend the next 90 days in Jacksonville with 24-hour care. The police chief says Officer Proko's has a decorated past, born in South Africa, serving in the country's military, and also a skydiving instructor here in Florida. We really enjoy him. Uh, at the police department. He's on my squad uh, currently, so uh, he's like one of our, literally one of our, one of our family. And because of his condition, Prokos isn't expected to return to the force in the same capacity. If you'd like to help him as well, we have his fundraising page on our website, clickorlando.com. In Deland, Troy Campbell, News 6.